Welcome to this week's Travel and Young and we're just out and about today. It's a beautiful day so we decided to kind of go to a couple places up in North Shellon and this is our first stop. We're going to a Gold Boutique. I probably said that wrong. <laughs> it's one of the harder words to say I think. It's a farmhouse. So. It's like a farmhouse so it's like uh, you know you can go get some fresh stuff. We're hoping we don't know what they'll have in there so we're gonna go see what we can get. Maybe we can get some fun snacks and tasty things so let's go take a look. Yeah well we drove by the way. We did. It was like an hour no 45 minutes. We did. We, yeah. It was 45 minutes so we're, we're up sort of close to the coast. Um, really beautiful day so it should be fun. Yeah because we want to by the way Yes. I know you keep trying to end this. I know. But I'm gonna, I keep I'm trying not, to I'm end not gonna it. Let and then it happen, he no. keeps coming well, back. Well, because we're so. gonna go to Hundestol and we're gonna go to the, <laughs> we're gonna go to the sand, uh, the sand, the sand sculpture thing. Do you sand want sculpture to... thing? No, it's fine. Just it's fine. <laughs> this is real. Right, but I mean, like, you know, listen, just go. It's fine. We're gonna keep we're going. Doing. Okay, we're, we're going to the the Goro boutique. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go to the sand sculpture thing, which I've been wanting to go to that yeah. for years. And like, we're gonna. And, I, and now I'm cutting you off. Now you're cutting me off. <laughs> and we're going to go to um, the, I cannot remember his name, the explorer who went to Greenland. Yeah, his house. Um, His house. I'll remember his name later when we're there. Yeah, we have a packed um, agenda. We do have a We even brought a cooler in case we bought fun food things. Yeah, that well, we let's, take okay. So I think we got it covered we'll, we'll now. Go, we'll go We now. can start we'll walking. Go. Hey. This thing. We got very quickly distracted. <laughs> Never been on one of these things before. It's like a it's like a bubble that's on the ground. So I'm gonna go give me a check. Wait, hold on. I've never been on these before. I saw these for the first time, I think when we came here, maybe. I don't know. But Max 20 people, so Max just 20 people. We gotta find 19 more. like a trampoline <laughs> <laughs> i bet if somebody was on the other side they could make you like pop way up in the air yeah. oh god i'm gonna take my knee out I gotta get <laughs> 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 So we like we, we got so many things. We got stuff. We did. We got these. Oh, you're in my shadow. Yeah. Oh no. Turn around. Uh, we oh. got uh these little meringue looking things. We also got drinks. Drinks and sausages. Sausages for later. We got fresh. While we sausages. sit upon the we sea. Got some chili frankfurters. All local That's stuff. Right. Local stuff. Yes. Yeah. The frankfurters will have to grill at home. But. We we almost got honey as well but then we remembered that we have 50 billion things of honey we at have home a wee bit of honey in the we house. need to stop buying honey all so. right cool <laughs> let's do this now So you're eating. I am. I'm eating the sausage that we got, and I didn't realize it's made from goat. Goat. So that's a new one on me. Yeah. <laughs> but so, it actually tastes really good. Nice yeah. view here. And what did we learn? We learned lots Knud of things. Knud Rasmussen. This Knud, house was built. Knud Rasmussen. So this house was built um, as his summer house. It was kind of his respite. So he was well known. Uh, in Copenhagen, his wife Dagmar was the daughter of, I believe, a famous politician. 
But he was an explorer. But he was well an explorer, say. and so he became quite famous in his own right. He did, I guess, there were seven missions to Greenland. So yeah. he did uh, the mapping expeditions to map out uh, Greenland, and one of the most famous ones they were telling us was that he went all along the northern coast of Greenland, all the way across uh, Canada, the northernmost parts of Canada, and crossed the Bering Strait and spent 17 hours in Siberia. Well, I think it was the southern coast of Greenland into the northern yes, coast the, of Canada. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And so. this, this house was built a little over 100 years ago. Yeah. But he passed away in 1933, so he didn't yeah. get to enjoy the house very long. No, and they, only, yeah. they think he ate a bad piece of meat yeah. and uh -oh. got blood poisoning. Uh -oh. So I don't know what that says for goat? us. I don't know. Hopefully not. Mm, hopefully not. Hopefully not. But it was really interesting. I, I enjoyed it. But there's not too much in the house because the house uh, used to have a whole bunch of stuff uh, from his expeditions and his research. Um, and then other people had brought things. But then there was a fire in the house. Um, and after the fire, they kind of took everything out and then just made this about the house. So what might be an interesting trip is to find some of the things that yeah. he found. Well, we asked the lady and she and said... And she didn't know. Well, I think so, most of it wasn't his stuff. It made yeah. it sound like a lot of it was things people brought well, and said, we think this might be to you. Yeah, I mean, but truly no it proof. belongs to the people of Greenland and yeah. Canada, but... But it is a fantastic day today to come out yes. and do this, so... Nice picnic. I also got Beautiful. this very mouthwash yes. blue soda. <laughs> Looks a bit like Listerine. <laughs> All right. Well, Drink let's finish up and then we get to head to the sandcastles. Very fun. Wrapping up the day here. Yes, and we finally made it to the Hunasel Sen Sculpture Festival. Um, it's smaller than I expected, but also more amazing than I expected. I, I didn't quite know what to expect, but these sculptures are incredible. Um, I saw one in there that was like a Molina. There's a really awesome octopus one that's over here. I've seen, um, there's a really cool one of, it's called Mother Robot and it kind of imagines what would it be like if we were in the future and robots were more human-like and thoughts behind that. So it's really, really cool. Um, you should definitely come here and check it out. Yeah, and it's basically just in the middle of Hundestol, and I think it's yeah. through like... <laughs> it's like right here in the harbor. I think it's... Oh, it says up there. Yeah. I'm just going to zoom in just if you can kind in. of see. October <laughs> 23rd, the yeah. or in Danish, the 23rd of October. 23rd of October. So yeah. it's here for a while. So if you're on Shelland um, or close to it and can come out here, it's it's really awesome. I mean, it's beautiful out here. We've come here a couple times to Hunestel anyway, but we've just never made it to the Sculpture Festival. So it's really cool. Yeah, so I think we need to go get some beer maybe. Yeah, yeah, we do. And <laughs> maybe shop in some of the shops that are next to this. Uh, beer. Totally. Need beer, yeah. beer, yeah. beer. <laughs> it's kind of loud because we're next to the road. Here's the deal. On the way from Hundestol over there, back home to Lungu, there's this Circle K. And this Circle K is known to have Slurpee machines. When I was a kid, 7-Elevens back home had Slurpee machines and we'd always beg my dad to let us get Slurpees. So whenever I drive past this, we used to a lot to take Maya to and from after school because it was close to Hundestol. I'd stop here and get Slurpees. But if you notice, my hands do not have a Slurpee in either of them at the moment because the Slurpee machines were like not on. Uh, They're supposed, they like, they like turn and then create Slurpee slushies goodness. And if they're not doing that, then they're just like liquid colored sugary water. That's an and outrage. That's what it, I know, and it had like little things hanging. It was even in English that said not ready for use. It oh, was no. so disappointing. I like, I'm sure they're like, why did this guy walk in and immediately walk out again? It's because I couldn't get a Slurpee on the way back. How and this is like the only they? Circle K that I'm aware of that ha So if you know of other Circle Ks in the Copenhagen area with Slurpees, tell me. 
But this is the end of our video because I thought I'd end it with me sipping on a Slurpee happy as a clam. And instead, I'm without Slurpee. And there you go. That's our trip to Hundestol, ending in a Slurpee-less scenario. See you guys next time.